What's up everyone, Jay here, and in this video I'm going to be fulfilling a long time request while simultaneously using the opportunity to play with my new Logitech webcam and doing some on-screen filming. So as you might be able to guess from this shot, this video is going to be on these animated desktop wallpapers. Now before we start, I do have to say that this is actually a software that I purchased. It's fairly cheap and I am in no way getting any sort of sponsorship or doing any sort of promotional video for the product. I'm simply letting you, the, uh, the subscribers, viewers, know how I did this uh, just because I've gotten a lot of questions on it. So the first thing that we need to do is open up Steam. Now, if you don't have a Steam account, you'll probably want to get one for this. Uh, but anyway, once you have Steam open, you just go to search the store and type in Wallpaper Engine. And you can see it's the first result here. It's $4. Not too bad, in my opinion. So you just click on that, download it. Once you download it and install it, you can go to your library, Software, click on Software, and then Launch It. And I have noticed that the... Uh, I don't know why they have a 64-bit version, if there's supposed to be any kind of... Uh, benefit to using that, but I have noticed that the uh, the six running it in 64-bit can be a little bit glitchy Even though I do have plenty of RAM, so I just leave it as the normal selection Now this is going to open on my other monitor So let me drag that over here And when you first start it up, this is what you're greeted with So to start you have to pick which monitor you want to set the display on I believe if you only have one monitor, this will still pop up um, because there is an option here, which I'll get to in a second. But anyway, you have a couple different ways of configuring this. One way is to have a wallpaper per monitor, and the other is an option to stretch one single wallpaper across multiple monitors. So if I just had two of, the, uh, of these 1080 monitors, there are a lot of wallpapers that will, that are configured for a standard or more standardized multi uh, monitor displays but since i have this one large uh, widescreen monitor plus the two small ones you know nobody makes a, uh, a background that'll stretch across these three so i just stick with the single uh, wallpaper per monitor now you can also um well yeah and part of that is that we're just going to be working with this one monitor that i'm actually recording on today so we're going to keep a wallpaper per monitor. And the first thing, so I'll minimize that. You can see that I have this one as my background. So the first thing that we'll check out is the ability to split a monitor, actually. So I can take this one monitor and I can click this split tool and it'll split it either vertically or horizontally. So we want to split it vertically because horizontally would be a little bit weird and it automatically picks the uh, the halfway point for you. So I'll go ahead and click that. And then once I've done that, I can click on whichever side I wanna change and then change my wallpaper. And we'll just click on one here real quick, just to show you what this looks like. So you can see that there's the uh, wallpaper on one side and then another one on another. I don't know exactly why you would wanna do this, but it is an option. So we'll go back to this view and I am going to unsplit those. So now we'll just be working with this one. Actually, first I'll show you the this other tool, which is actually pretty cool. These are uh, things that they've recently added. When I first downloaded this, these weren't available. Um, but so you can take these two and group them together into one. And then I can have this one, uh, let me see, I was using this one in the beginning. So I can have this one wallpaper that kind of stretches across both of them. So where if I just did this one with that same wallpaper, it would look like this. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, so we're going to start with this one just to do a quick demonstration. That's the main uh, kind of explanatory uh, thing of the features that this has. Otherwise, it's really straightforward. All you do is it starts with some uh, basic backgrounds. So like these three, this demon core, DNA fragment, eagle flag, fantastic car, like all these were 
were basic ones. I think there are maybe like close to a dozen of them. But the rest of them, uh, other people upload and you can search for and download them and apply them. So we'll start with, I don't know what's the best way to do this. I'll just shrink it down a little bit so you can kind of see the, uh, the wallpaper changing. Actually, maybe this will be cool. We could do a, uh, I'll split this like so, and we'll change this wallpaper. Is that going to work for us? Yeah. Okay. And then I can just stick this to one side and there. So we'll just be working on this side for the, uh, the wallpaper, but you can pretend it would be changing it for the whole, whole monitor. Um, so essentially all you do is you find the one that you want, you click on it, and it automatically applies it. And it's really as simple as that. And as you can see, some, as you can hear, some of them have a, uh, an audio, and they, have, they all have a, a certain number of options over here, and you can turn up the volume if you like the background music, or I always just turn it down so that I can't hear it. You can change the position. I guess if it's too big for your screen, you can you can move the position back and forth, but if it fits perfectly, if it's the same resolution as your screen, then this position slider doesn't do anything. And you can also adjust the playback rate, so we could speed it up a little bit. Now most of them run, like this one runs on a loop, if you let it go long enough you'll eventually notice it'll like hitch and then reset to the beginning. So in order to get new ones, we can go to the workshop. And you can either just kind of scroll through them, you know, click through, see what they are, see what they do. I don't know what this one is. Some of them will have this like preview thing that you can look at. And you can see what happens. This one obviously has music. I don't see it actually doing anything though, so not too sure. Um, but other ones will have, like, I believe, if we can find one. Uh, yeah, like you can see this one has little shimmering flags on it. Uh, this Witcher one actually has an animation. So you can preview the animation. And I think you can, yeah, you can actually see the, uh, the loop here when it resets. You can search by uh, tags, I guess, the genre that it fits in. You can search by resolution, so if you have a certain resolution in mind, you can go anything from standard definition all the way up to uh, portrait 4K. And see, here you even have those kind of standard triple monitor setups. So if I had three of these 1080p monitors, I could search for wallpapers that fit, that would, that would span across all three of them. So that's pretty cool. But I usually, I tend to stick to 4K because I can fit it to both my uh, my ultra wide or these 1080s and you know that with a 4k resolution you're getting a uh, really dense uh, pixel coverage so it's probably going to look pretty good all right so now once you find a wallpaper that you want to apply it's actually pretty simple so let's not do this one what about this one does this have any sort of animation we can find out but you can also see how they're rated so some of them have pretty good ratings, some of them don't. But all you have to do is download it. And then you'll see here, it starts downloading. It goes pretty quickly. I also have a, a pretty good internet connection. But once it finishes downloading, it applies it. And then you can see the animation. So you got his necklace moving here and just some like uh, embers or something flo floating up. And a little bit of smoke in the background. So that's a pretty cool, pretty cool little background. So while most of the backgrounds that you'll find are just like an animation that's on a loop, some of them, like this matrix code one, are actually somehow like computationally generated in real time so that you get like a real random generation of these characters and the patterns. There is no loop, it'll just keep going. I imagine by now this has been fixed. I haven't really tested it for a while and it actually takes a little while to break, but eventually these would always just kind of throw an error and then the uh, the wallpaper engine would stop and then you'd have to restart it. While not a huge deal, it kind of got annoying after a while. So that is a, a, a potential negative, but again, they I imagine they probably fixed that because that was like maybe a year ago at this point. 
look at a couple other ones. This is another one that you'll eventually see it hitch and reset. But these are real cool. So you can just get some nice ambient ones or you can get scenes where they just overlay. It's just a picture where they're overlaying some sort of snowfall. It's pretty cool. But they have this, which looks like an actual video. So it's somebody just went and filmed the fountain with lights. So this is another issue, kind of potential. Uh, I think even if I stretch it out, the alignment of the options here just doesn't match up. But you can essentially change the colors on this one. I don't know what the scale does. If that shows anything. The offset. Okay, yeah, so you can change where that that line appears. And then you can also change the colors on this one. I guess you can pick whatever color you want, which is kind of cool. And this will actually uh, bounce around depending on how your uh, your audio is working. But let's see if we play something. Does it? No, no. So this time it works. This is actually the third time that I've filmed this. So last time it didn't work because I think it was looking at the, uh, the mixer board or something. But anyway, so that's kind of a neat one. All right, well, that pretty much does it for this video. As you've seen, it's a, a pretty simple utility. Uh, it's really cheap. I think, personally, I think it's worth it. I enjoy using it. I enjoy the uh, the backgrounds. I, I have liked that they are, they seem to be active in development because they have put out releases and they've even put out enhancements like that spleen, spleen script, the, uh, the, the screen split and the, the grouping, which is really cool. I was actually wondering if they would ever do that. All right, well, thanks for checking out the video, and I will see you in the next one.